We're coming to you from the Radford Studio Center lot in Studio City, right over the hill from Hollywood. This is the place where dreams are made, legends are born. Hello and welcome to the lot. I'm Suzanne Marquez. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. But every day is Mean Girls Day right now because the remake is on the big screen with a soundtrack you can sing and dance to with new faces and beloved characters from the original too. May I have everyone's attention please? We have a new student. In Mean Girls, Katie Heron is experiencing high school for the first time after growing up in Africa. And she's a bit like a gazelle in a lion's den. Get in, loser. She attracts the attention of Queen Bee Regina George, who invites her to join her clique, the Plastics. But after Regina breaks girl code and goes after Katie's crush, the claws come out and revenge is the law of the jungle. We're gonna make her pay. And Gowry Rice stars as Katie. Tackling a musical is something new for the Australian actress. Every project I take, I try and um, I hope there's a new challenge with it. So with Mean Girls, the challenge was um, the musical element. Renee Rapp played the role of Regina George in the Tony-nominated Broadway show and returns to it for the big screen. It's also a really fun character because, like, you have to make someone um, really funny, very sassy, intimidating, incalculated, but, like, appear careless. Tina Fey wrote the script for the 2004 film Mean Girls and adapted it for Broadway and adapted it again for this movie. Sometimes I feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I do feel like uh, I know a lot of people care about it and care about these characters, but no, no one more than me. We as women have to support each other. If you need to talk to Kaylee Cuoco and David Oyelowo are a married couple looking to spice up their suburban life in role play. But she accidentally reveals her secret job as an assassin for hire. I chatted with the stars and the director tells me Kaylee had her own secret on set when they were filming. How was Nebraska? It was, um... The usual. Emma Brackett is a trained assassin who must keep the secret from her doting husband, Dave. And before Kaylee Cuoco and David Oyelowo started filming, she set up a meeting for the pair of them to spill their own quirks and secrets. Did you guys ever, did you know each other before this role? No, which was weird because a lot of people thought that we yeah, would have. I, I did. did. Yeah, we did not. We did no, not. No, no, no. We, 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 we met. Um, at a lunch yes. uh, that we had to, to meet each other. Yes. And Kaylee came along with 20 questions, which were an incredible icebreaker. Yeah. And it, so it felt within an hour that we'd known each other. Yeah. For, I knew that she liked goats. I knew that she doesn't like mushrooms. And I know that she uh, doesn't like socks. Yes. Weird. So we socks? Learned, uh, yeah, so like yeah. socks around oh, the house. I get it. Socks are no just socks. weird. But we had a big fight about that, and then he brought weird, it back because he has four dogs, and I was like, oh my god, big yeah. dog person. Yeah. But yeah, it broke the ice, my 20 questions game. I'm Jack. Alice. Do you and your wife role play often? What exactly is this about? Do you know this man? No. Jack Bob Bob Jack. Pleasure. He just talked for five minutes to all the victims of her charms, and then he left. The wife's real name is Anna Peller. Wanted for contract killings across several continents. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. What? David, I always associate you with so many serious roles. So what is it like to wear this different hat and be with one of the greatest comedic actresses <laughs> alive? So yeah. sweet. The, the you can come anytime. Yeah, um, anytime. Yeah, that was one of the reasons I wanted to do this, to sort of flex that different muscle and to do it with someone who really knows what they're doing in that space as well. Um, so, yeah, it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. I'm a bit of a goof in real life. People wouldn't know that from some of the, the, the shows and, and movies I've done. Um, but also, I have to say, after that first meeting we had, I completely fell in love with her as a person, just to, uh, you know. Just, you are very lovely. We did. We um, love it. And, and, and Buddies so, immediately. Yeah. And so to, to get to celebrate family, to celebrate love, and the desire for a family to get back together, to preserve being together whilst all this crazy stuff is going on and the hilarity is happening at the same time, <laughs> uh, was just a lot of fun. Killing is bad. Like, unacceptably bad. I know. I know. I'm done. Done. I swear. Kaylee had intense fight scenes, and as they filmed, she started to slow down and get sick on set, and soon they found out she was hiding her own secret during filming. 
he called me into in our um, trailer and said, Tom, I've, I've got something to tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm pregnant, so I'm not going to be able to. And so I had to do that thing of pretending I didn't know. I just found out. <laughs> like, oh, my God. You're pregnant. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that explains things. But everybody knew already. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. That is such a fun, wholesome memory. And she'll always hold this movie close to her heart. I love you. I have to go to work now, though. Okay. <laughs> that's on Prime Video. And over on Netflix, Kevin Hart stars in a new heist movie. Lift is a new action comedy about a sky high attempt to steal a half billion dollars in gold from a plane mid flight. Can I get you a drink, Gabby? Agent Gladwell. Am I in trouble? We need you to steal something. <laughs> Kevin Hart leads an international team of thieves in the crime caper Lift. Half a billion in gold is on his way to a terrorist cell. <laughs> And the gold needs to disappear. What's your plan? <laughs> we gotta steal it mid flight, 40,000 feet in the air. We're taking the plane, the whole plane? It's kind of hard to take half a plane. When you're around good people and good energy, um, you know, it, it's, a, it's a contagious feeling, right? It was a I playground for all of us yeah. in a beautiful way. Yeah. It's a playground to explore and work with talented, talented people. Is everybody in position? You're good to go. Showtime. Showtime. Come on. The action took the cast all over Europe. Venice was was the top. You know, even just reading the script, the first few pages, you know, knowing that we're in the center of Venice, St. Mark Square, the Grand Canal, iconic, iconic locations, like being on a speedboat down the Grand Canal. I was just like, oh my God, pinch me. This is just like one for the memoirs. <laughs> it's it. Toss up by between, I think, Belfast and Cortina. Cortina? Don't you? Yeah. I mean, you liked Venice a lot, though, right? I loved Venice. Yeah. But I think as a group, yeah. I think Belfast, Belfast will always be in my heart. Yeah. All right, then. Let's show them what true artistry looks like. You can catch a ride with Lyft now. And when we come back, the biblical inspired film, The Book of Clarence, just opened in theaters. And we have one of the stars here in studio and the newest breakout star from the thriller Night Swim.